Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be flipping through my planner systems for the year 2021. Things are changing in 2022. Things will continue to change as they always do. But I thought before we hop into the new year and get started that it would be nice to kind of look through to see how things have changed throughout the year. So I started off the year and actually I'm, I'm a teacher, so I think more in an academic. So I was actually July through March in this planner, but let's start with February. Just kidding. <laughs> start at the beginning of the year, start with January. This is a plum paper seven by nine planner. Um, I usually do goals up at the top, really kind of like mindsets, birthdays, events, an inspirational quote. And then I was tracking books read, daily gratitude. Here's my super functional monthly spread. And then I... Oh, I did keep them. I usually will rip out my weekly spreads. See how in November it's just, they're gone. Um, so the Plum Paper Planner, if you do not know, they have a duplicate week in the weekly spread because depending on when your planner starts, um, you will get the first week duplicated as the last week. So that duplicate week I used to always do um, as like a goal setting section. So this was January first week of January, second week of January. I actually decorated this week twice. I had a um, vertical priorities layout that I repurposed and then shoved in here, but I ended up going with the rainbow spread. And I kind of started realizing that the vertical, even though it's like super popular in social media, isn't really my jam. So again, daily gratitude here, I find it unlikely that I didn't read any books in February, but maybe that's true. I think I was just kind of like falling off of the vertical layout. So here is February. And here there was no duplicate week because February 1st started on a Monday. So I just used the last page as my goals page, planning page, which worked out fine. March is when I decided to abort mission. So I did start March in this planner, but I really only did this first week. I think I might've decorated one more. Yeah, I decorated one more, but this week was the week of my birthday. Well, the week right before my birthday. And this week was when my second planner of the year came in, which was the passion planner. This is a weekly planner starts on a Monday start. I got this secondhand. Um, and so it was unusual because, you know, I had like all of these weeks that I hadn't used, but I can't like rip them out because this is a bound planner. And I actually like the bound planner for a little bit, but anyway, so here is March in the passion planner. I wanted to switch things up because I found that I just wanted more space for things. So I really liked how like you could use the hourly, like an hourly, but there was also space for like habit tracking and whatever else you needed. This one I back planned. This wasn't like a plan as you go kind of week. This was like a, I'm learning a new layout. This was the day that my planner came Yep, right here. The 10th was the day that my planner came. So that was my first ever like plan as you go week and the paper is not the same color as white out in the passion planner and that really irritated me but i did use this planner probably i don't even remember maybe three months i loved this one look at these so fun and then monthly reflection which i really love simple this one i kind of tried to do the same thing I had done down here. Love this. I did actually really like this planner and then this is where I kind of started falling off a little bit. It's kind of fun to flip through. Here we go, another one of these that I liked. It's kind of fun to flip through and reflect on the previous. This one I used the um, time blocking, like the way that it's supposed to be used for the first time. And that was kind of cool. Supposed to use your schedule however you want to use it. This may have been the last week. Let's 
No, you know what? I did June because I'll, t I'll show you why in a minute, but my next planner didn't start until July. So I did use this planner all through the month of June as well. But you know, I couldn't hardly wait. <laughs> so this was the last couple of days of June over. I didn't even check anything off. Oh, you know why? I wasn't even in town. This was me being out of town. And then my beloved came in my daily planner and I switched to the A5 size. And like I said before, um, I ripped out, or I, I tend to rip out old spreads. I don't really need to see them. Saves room in my coil. So when I moved to the A5, I continued to use this as I usually had, but down here, instead of tracking books read, because I usually track them in the back as well. Let's see. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. I usually track books read in the back as well. So I decided to use this as like a monthly habit tracking. And here I just kind of had like a running to-do list instead of daily gratitude. <coughs> Excuse me. Here is the weekly, or sorry, the monthly spread. I kept some of them in like I really loved. Again, gratitude. My son was born. Here I did daily and then also weekly habits, and I loved that. I'm pretty sure that I ripped things out, but maybe not for August. You know what? I don't, I didn't because my son was born and I started feeling sentimental. So <laughs> these are all of the days. And I'm really proud to actually say that I've used this daily plant planner almost every single day since I got it in July. There's like a couple days that I haven't used it towards the end, but I was so nervous about getting a daily. Here we go again. You know, mindsets, birthdays, events, quote, daily habits, and then weekly habits and gratitude. Um, but anyway, I was nervous about buying a daily planner because I thought that I wasn't going to have enough things to put in a daily planner, like especially being home on maternity leave or in the middle of summer, like what the heck am I going to put in it? I got a lot to put in here. Affirmations, to-do list, goals, Bible scripture, things I'm grateful for. There's so much that I could be putting in a daily spread. <laughs> I keep my um, planner in the kitchen and apparently I laid it down on a pile of coffee, which is sad because I actually really love this layout. Oops, skipped page, there we go. That actually didn't come out half bad. I, I thought I didn't like this, but this actually came out nice. Here comes October. I used a monthly kit for the first time from Monarch Plans, Daily Gratitude, same as usual, couldn't find a quote, daily habits and weekly habits. And I like that still. Love, love, love doing this. This banner at the top, so fun. There's definitely some spreads that I like more than others, but basically I'm all about in the daily planner using up the stickers, but I also really like just like a plain pen only as well. Like two strips of washi looks fantastic. This pink color of October, yuck, I hated it. Wow, didn't use it this day. <laughs> Heart, look, I didn't even fill it in. <laughs> whoops all right here comes November this is when I went back to work and this is when I fell off using it sometimes so I just ripped out the pages so from the 3rd to the 12th I didn't use it the 13th to the 20th I didn't hardly use it at all And here we go for December. Did not set up the pages. I think mostly because I don't have a Sharpie anymore. That like thin Sharpie. I ran out of ink. So I don't have a Sharpie page to set these pages up. Which is depressing. I stole a page from my weekly here. 
didn't use, but I used it here. I was trying to like pre-plan. I think that's what that failure is. And then here is what I've been using most recently, which is Counting Down to Christmas, mostly because I found these Countdown to Christmas stickers that I got in a order from Monarch Plans, I think literally last Black Friday, and they came too late to use them, so I'm using them this year. And this is basically the end of my daily planner. But let me show you because I do have one more that I have been using. And, you know, I have a couple more days left in here. Um, but I, ha I did end up ordering a weekly planner as well to finish out 2021. I just felt like when I went back to work, I wanted to get a weekly planner so I can see my things at a glance. So let me show you. Again, I had a um, Monarch Plans kit and what I've been doing is scripture to-do list and a habit tracker and then like kind of like a top three over on the right hand side of my days I love this this is probably my favorite favorite one I guess I didn't run out of well whatever I'm out of it now so there's that beginning of December and this is now and I just need to do one more week and then we will be in January which is just insane to me obviously I'm going to keep this um, planner through the rest of the year it does go until October which is kind of random but whatever um, and then I have already ordered my six month um, daily for the next part of the year which is going to be awesome I didn't do anything though yet to it besides these like cute little stickers and I don't think I did anything else no I haven't set anything else up and then um, I have some other things in the works as well but don't have them currently in my position to tell you about 2022 so I hope that you in liked this video hope that it gave you some inspiration or just caused you to reflect on your year as well and I'll see you guys in the next video.